Um, okay guys, so you clicked on this video, right? You saw that it said $38 meal plan, vegan style, A eh? For two people. Now who is this charming young man that I have here with me? Who am I? Who are you? I'm Dimitri. Uh-huh. And her boyfriend. We're super awkward. Okay, this is my boyfriend, alright? So I'm doing this video in this style instead of coming directly from me so you can see how our experience was together since he went on the meal plan with me. So I asked him, what do you think I should say in my video tomorrow? I had some ideas on the side, but I also wanted to get a second opinion. And I'm going to go over everything he said and we're going to kind of do this interview style, okay? So the first thing he said to me was... Okay, so yeah, you will feel full. The, the food that's given on this meal plan uh, keeps you very satiated. It's very heavy. Uh, it's a lot of fiber in it. Uh, pretty good amount of vitamins and minerals. And if you have big enough portions, which you're allowed... You're kind of allowed to for the three square meals a day. Uh, personally, I complained about not having so many snacks in between, but we'll get to that. Yeah. Um, but yeah, the three big square meals a day uh, kept me pretty full. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What? Because the bases were beans, rice, potato, potato, and brown rice pasta. Brown rice pasta, mm -hmm. and and the frozen veggies are pretty heavy too. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so the second thing he said to me was that it's nothing but staples. What, what did you mean by that? Um, it's stuff that you can always have in your pantry, especially if you're vegan, you're only going to have certain... Like non-perishables? Certain non-perishables, certain mm -hmm. dried goods, like the brown rice. We got brown rice on deck all the time. Uh, a plethora of different kinds of beans. A uh, myriad of other kinds of frozen vegetables that we would just have in the freezer. Mm -hmm. uh, it's almost just a, a mashup of whatever you would just have in your freezer and fridge mm -hmm. and pantry that's fairly cheap. Uh, the other thing he said to me was that creativity equals not bored super easy. I, I just, you were you were rambling there, so I just kind of pulled. Yeah. Creativity equals not bored I mean, super easy. I guess I guess I kind of said that already mm -hmm. in a sense. Um, if you have just a bunch of staples that you're used to seeing in your pantry, it's really easy to just create different things because you don't have to think about so much of each food group as a concept and rather as you just throwing everything in a bowl and seasoning it differently, seasoning or... it differently and see how it comes out. Mm -hmm. So uh, creativity was up there. Although we really didn't use it too much. No, right? we didn't. Yeah. Super lazy this week. We didn't make a lot of the things we were supposed to, but we used the ingredients for that thing. Mm -hmm. So it's still kind of the same as far as keeping you satiated throughout the, the day or week. Mm -hmm. um, the other thing he said was that veganism can be cheap. Can we get an amen? Amen, <laughs> yeah. It can be really freaking cheap, especially if you if you don't buy things in cans. If you buy them in dry bags, right? Like uh, instead of beans, right? That's like 69, 79 cents a can. You buy a 99 cent bag of black beans, sometimes a dollar 19. Divide that by four. A dollar 20 divided by four is 30 cents each instead of paying 79 cents each can, which is ridiculous. And it has a lot of sodium and that damn bean water. I got, I got to tell you though, the variety wasn't there for me though. Mm -hmm. I, I, I almost felt like I was having these big meals, but it was a crap ton of beans with a crap ton of rice. We were supposed to have falafel, and what did we end up having instead? Like a chickpea rice? Right, like, yeah. a, like an Indian style, you know, curry, turmeric. We were supposed to have burgers, but what did we have instead? We had rice and beans. Right. Yeah. We were supposed to have rice and beans, and what do we have instead? Rice, rice and, beans. and beans. So okay. it's like we kept on not making things into patties and seasoning mm -hmm. them in the food processor and then baking them. We kept not doing that out of pure laziness. So we kind of messed up our meal plan just because we didn't feel like cooking. But um, but if you follow the meal plan, if you take the time out to make the patties, put them in the freezer, do them on Sunday. This this meal plan is also meal preppable, by the way, because you could you could uh, make the falafel patties, throw them in the freezer. You can make the bean patties, throw them in the freezer, and all week you could, you could kind of just play mm -hmm. with that, right? So we just did, we were like ill-prepared completely. <laughs> now we're going to move into what his cons were. So he kind of did this as a pros and cons sort of thing. Mm -hmm. So the cons were... I can imagine, I, just one week on this diet and... I didn't even feel like making falafels. I didn't feel like making burgers because I was just looking at the food and I was like, there's beans and there's rice. 
So I guess that's what I'll eat. If I see a bunch of other food groups, uh, the variety is heightened. So my desire to make different kinds of foods are heightened. But mm -hmm. I can imagine just having the same stuff in your pantry week after week. It probably gets a little daunting just to eat that same thing. Yeah. Um, so the other thing that you said was even if satiated, you wanted snacks. That was another con. Yeah. But but come on, that was also our fault too. So we were having popcorn every day, right? right. Which is a great snack because you could season it in a sweet way or a savory way. And we were supposed to make what? We were supposed to make chocolate chip muffins or right. some kind of chocolate chip bread mm -hmm. thing. Yeah. And, then, and it never happened. It never happened. We, we just didn't feel like it. And I think it was I think it was because of the variety. Since we didn't really have a variety, I just felt like cooking was uninteresting. Mm -hmm. So I just ate because I had to really. I didn't right. eat because I wanted to. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, oh. So the other thing he said was that he missed a lot of fruits and veggies. Like, I was really missing fresh vegetables. Mm -hmm. um, and if you eat frozen vegetables day after day after day, you start really realizing that you're just eating frozen vegetables and it's starting to taste frozen. Right. As to when I mix, I, I almost fool myself and I can't tell the difference. Mm -hmm. So I, I was missing my fresh produce, man. Yeah. yeah. I mean, it's all over now, so yeah. you're good. but. Okay, so now the, the thing, now this part of the video is not going to be about, um, that was his entire experience with it. That was everything he had to say. Do you have anything else to say now that you've been talking? Uh, I think you can go and then I'll probably... Okay, so here's a disclaimer that I want to say. We bought extra stuff besides that $38. We cracked on Halloween day, right? Right? We spent an extra $9, I think. Um, what did we buy? Duncan Hines. No, it, he's lying. We bought a Betty Crocker uh, chocolate cake mix, right? Totally vegan. I'm talking about that beautiful, luscious frosting. Okay, we bought some disgusting frosting. <laughs> <laughs> it was so sweet and sugary. Like, we don't have sugar in this house. So eating that again was like... It just tastes like chemicals, you know? And I was just like, it was Halloween. We were craving mm -hmm. chocolate. You vegans know that chocolate's kind of hard to come by in a regular grocery store or a regular supermarket. Yeah. So I just went scouring for different kind of accidentally vegan chocolate items. So we settled on Cocoa Krispies. We got two boxes of Cocoa Krispies. <sighs> Tore that up. And um, the last thing that we got was another bag of popcorn. Oh, yeah. We, we, we flew through that popcorn. Yeah, we're halfway through um, that bag. Um, and, and the challenge was over. So 22 servings for that small bag of popcorn. We, we don't eat three tablespoons each. What is that? We eat like half a cup each or maybe a quarter cup. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, so I wanted to show you guys what we have left over from our purchase. So let's go to the kitchen and get that and then show them. Okay. All right. Look at all this brown rice pasta. So we just had veg lo mein one time and um that's how much we have left over like three-fourths of the entire thing left right um okay so we have all these chocolate chips left over having not made he doesn't put chocolate chips in his oatmeal like i do but also we didn't make um chocolate chip muffins which i think we were supposed to do two servings of that well we were supposed to do that recipe two times so we have all these chocolate chip muffins left over i actually want to do that today now that we're talking about it that's not that's messed up okay oh <laughs> uh, we have this Popcorn left. That was this was the the, um, the new one that we bought. About it's a quarter. White, white popcorn. About a quarter of it left. Second second bag. About a quarter left. Yeah, and I taste no difference with the white one and the yellow one, right? I know. No, no. Uh, we felt like it was a little lighter and it took a little longer to pop, mm -hmm. right? But I, as time went on, we just adjusted. Yeah. And it got pretty normal again. And then I'm gonna do a two in one here. So this is how much of the frozen veg we have left over. So we have some corn and some of this. I hate this now. Remember, I was like, oh, it's my favorite. It's not. It's like all broccoli cuts, big fat pieces of cauliflower, you know, here and there, I and like a lot them. of carrots. I like them. I'm not a fan of broccoli cuts. So. For all you broccoli cut lovers out there, I got you. Right. <laughs> Found it. <laughs> okay, next. Our Betty Crocka. Hey, I want to show you the evidence. All right, and I would have been holding the frosting here, but it didn't make it out alive. We, we threw out the container until we forgot about it. Yeah. Okay, so then um, we didn't use this tomato at all. This was supposed to be for the falafel. Um, and if there were some left over, then for the burger as well. Which, yeah. Which we could use today. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Ahos. Rice. Whoa, you're daring. <laughs> <laughs> Rice. We went through how many cups of this? Two cups 
of rice? No, it's way more than this. It fills up way more than like three cups. Are. Yeah. Yeah, we don't know, but there's yeah. just one cup left over. Yeah, which would be a serving for the two of us. Yeah, mm -hmm. for one day. Right. And then we have three nice big um, onions left over, which I love onions, so. And then tomato paste, which we used a lot for the rice, mm -hmm. all sofritas. the rices and the sofritas mm -hmm. and stuff, but there's still maybe like about another two serving, maybe two fifths yeah. left here. So yeah, about two. Mm. We use a lot of tomato paste. Yeah, it's great. Yeah, and <laughs> lastly, yeah. almond milk. Um, this was supposed to get killed off if we did the overnight oats, which we also didn't do. Oh, that's right. I'm gonna just tell you, I like the oatmeal I make. I eat that every single morning and not change it. So, but the overnight oats is to show you, okay, you could still use the same ingredients that we purchased for the meal plan, but you could make something different. You know what I mean? And that's also meal preppable because you could do like two or three um, overnight oats ahead of time. And I guess that's the other reason why I like their staples so much because even though They're this versatile. was a, a $38 meal plan, it's so versatile what you could do with them. There's so many different things. If you're not lazy if you're not lazy yeah but there's so many other things you can do mm -hmm. well, I kind of wanted to do a rating system of our meals this week although we totally didn't eat what we were supposed to mm -hmm. what you guys would be eating I'm just telling you our experience so how was your oatmeal which well, I never got a picture of. well my oatmeal I always like my oatmeal um, mm -hmm. I did a really good oatmeal today though um, I, I never use my bananas for my oatmeal and the last banana for Saturday was super ripe so I mixed mm -hmm. it with water to make this banana syrup yeah. and then I started throwing my oats and the maple syrup and a little bit of salt in there and it kind of oh and pecans but yeah. that, that, that I messed up that you wasn't for some cinnamon or I could I, I did do some cinnamon uh -huh. but I made some sort of fall harvesty kind of oatmeal which was amazing so my oatmeals are always a 10 out of 10 oh, when okay. I have them yeah my oatmeal is a 10 out of 10 as well except the beginning of the week because the banana wasn't right how was our popcorn popcorn oh you, you man you discovered a new seasoning this week. week i discovered a new seasoning because i try i wasn't trying to use so many other things that weren't in our plan so mm -hmm. i just did salt and pepper and that was amazing oh boy here we go. <laughs> <laughs> and I kill it, right? <laughs> yeah. I don't put as much salt anymore. So I do I do very little salt, right? But I do my onion powder, my garlic powder, and my nutritional yeast or nooch, whatever you call it. A bae. lot. Bae. Yeah, a, a lot. lot. Like you're coughing up. B12. So how was the lo mein? Oh, I love lo mein. But see, the thing is, I also always add a bit of spice to my Oh, yeah. So he likes sriracha. Yeah. yeah. Um, but I just do a little sriracha. I'm more of like the red pepper flakes guy. So if you have that in your pantry and you're at and you want to add it to your lo mein, it's it's really good. Yeah, I didn't like the lo mein this week for some reason. I, I don't know what it is. I make it the same all the time. Um, maybe it's because I didn't put enough water, so the cooking process was like super long. Thanks. And those broccoli cuts, broccoli cuts. yo, on deck. Because I, because I, I liked it, and there was so many of them. Because <laughs> she was picking out the little broccoli and heads and plate. the carrots. So she took all the broccoli heads and the carrots, and then I was stuck with all um, the endings. Dude, there was one broccoli head in there and two pieces of cauliflower. You took them all. <laughs> Um, okay, so that one, I don't know what I rate that one. Maybe like a 5 out of 10. And you rate it up? Like a 9 out of 10. Okay. Oh my god, this was a 10 out of 10 for me, hands down. Caramelized onions, mangu, which is mashed plantain, and beans. Seasoned, uh, very Puerto Rican. What do you rate that one? Like a 10.5. Woo! That was my favorite It, it, it <laughs> destroys the Richter scale of how good a meal can be. <laughs> uh, guys, if you haven't tried it yet, you yeah. have to try mangu with beans and caramelized onions. Do you have a video on that? You do, right? Oh yeah, I do. You do. Please it's check that video. Old. It's old, but and it's, it's so good. dark. It's good. <laughs> like delicious. like the food. It's great. <laughs> okay, um the other meal was just rice and beans the Hispanic way. Just rice with red, uh, pink beans. So we have a picture of that. You can't go wrong with that either. I would say yeah. that was like a nine or a 10. Yeah, yeah. for me too. It, but it was very simple. I wish I would have threw caramelized onions in it just to give it like a little bit of extra oomph, mm -hmm. you know? Um, the other thing we had was the curried rice with chickpeas. Oh, yeah. I overcooked the hell out of that rice mm -hmm. and those damn garbanzo beans. So for me, man, I give that like a four out of 10. I hated it. See? Flavor wise, eight out of 10. 
I would I would give it he an did, 8. He did 5. the flavor. I would mm -hmm. give like an 8.5 overall. Or eight, yeah, overall. Maybe even a 9 on a good day. Um texture isn't that big of a deal for me. Mm -hmm. It's usually flavor and I am one of those people at this point that I say everything that's getting thrown in the plate is going to end up inside you anyway. Yeah. So I don't care if it's a big pile of mush. If you don't care so much there's leftovers in the fridge. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, um, another meal that we had was, oh, we had our burrito bowls with chickpeas. The flavoring that day was bomb. I forgot corn, though. But damn it, the flavoring that day was so good. Yeah. I just hated the texture of the um, the garbanzo beans because when I soaked them overnight and boiled them in the morning, I boiled them too long that day. So all the little garbanzo skins were everywhere, and I just, that kind of... Is disturbing. I guess that's also a good tip uh, if you're going on this $38 meal plan. Uh, try to get it right once. Yeah. Because if you mess up that one time, you're setting the tone for the next two or three days of meals. Mm -hmm. And uh, maybe, maybe that's why we didn't like it at times. Yeah. That, that meal was just like roasted potatoes with veggies. That's it. Mm -hmm. So delicious. Salt, pepper, garlic, onion. Boom, you're done. You can add some paprika in there. What else could you add in there that's like complimentary? Red pepper flakes, sriracha. All right, we, we have our, our favorites. <laughs> but um, yeah, that meal is a 10 out of 10 for me always. Even when I burn it and I don't like it as much. I just, you know, like potatoes are such comfort food for me. Mm. I love them. Um, what do you give that meal? I didn't have it, but it smelled like a 10 out of 10. <laughs> Cheap shot. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. Um, yeah. The potato meals I don't get to relish in too often because there's always these other meals. He likes sweet potatoes more. And I like sweet potatoes more, yeah. And I don't. Huh? Still. Okay. Good meal. <laughs> for me, it's great to do this meal plan to use as a base. $38 for two people. Use it as a base. Throw in your, your flair, you know what I mean? Change some things in and out, but like I said, it's nice to have like black or red beans and try to make burgers out of them. It's nice to have chickpeas and try to make uh, falafels out of them. So it's good to have these things around. It shows you how um, variant, varied, varied uh, certain foods are. But the second thing is, I wouldn't really suggest eating like this all the time, like looking for all the $20 meal plans and putting them all together for one month because you really lose out on a lot of nutrition. It's actually cheaper than the food stamp challenge, which is $29, which I also was creating a meal plan for, but this one was cheaper. But I mean, you could kind of build up for two people, mm -hmm. build up an extra $18, maybe get some fruits, some nuts, some I whatever. think that's, is, that's quintessential for making a meal plan a lot better. Just mm -hmm. having that extra produce that you the would The extra eat. categories. We didn't mm -hmm. have any fruit except for bananas this week. And greens. Yeah. I was missing my greens yeah. this week. <laughs> so do, do you have anything to end with? You could also change your base. I'm pretty sure if we went along this meal plan slightly different, we would have been able to come up with something that was widely different than what we came up with now. <laughs> uh, I'm using different a lot, which yeah. kind of is telling me that there isn't much of a difference that you can get. Mm -hmm. But yeah, um, definitely I, I missed greens and fruit. Yeah. Yeah. Smoothies too. I, I just wanted to mention that it can be done. Uh, if you are trying to be a vegan on a budget, you can make it happen. You could still stick to your morals and you could still eat a lot of the things that you want to and still have it pretty cheap. Mm -hmm. We already ended the actual portion of the video, but I want to end it by um, introducing my boyfriend's channel and a little bit about him. So you can go on and take over. Okay, hi. So uh, I'm Dimitri Reyes and I have another channel just called Dimitri Reyes. It'd be down below. Um, it's a channel about poetry. I myself am a Rutgers MFA graduate student in the poetry department. I teach the undergraduate poetry creative writing courses and I'm also doing a public art project in our very famous Branchwood Park that has to do with art installations. Uh, in the park for the month of December. Um, I, I wanted his channel to address those issues, the common tips, advice, uh, poetry styles, techniques, how to write a poem, pow, 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 you know, just like a lot of stuff. And that's what his channel is about. But he also features, <laughs> he also has performances sometimes if he goes to perform. And yeah, you guys can check him out. No pressure though. If you're not into poetry or creative writing or anything, then yeah. There's pressure. <laughs> Come. <laughs> Come to me. Open Join arms. My side. Come. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, um, I hope that you found this video helpful and leave any comments down below. Please. Thank I you. Yes. Bye. Peace.
welcome. It is November 4th and we just did a haul for the entire month. Um, we will be buying some things weekly that are fresh and let me get into it. So we got BJ's over here, um, Trader Joe's, and then ShopRite. 